All right, I'm probably about to do one of the stupidest things ever. I'm gonna high pressure hose my engine bay. Let's hope for the best. I'm gonna leave the car parked here so it's like not in the way of anything. I can maneuver all the cars around. And it's just kind of pissing me off a little bit because, well, for a little while, while I was still busy doing renovations and construction at the house, it was parked and getting like cement dust and all sorts of crap everywhere. And I didn't quite like that. Oh, by the way, I'm changing the gauge and that kind of blew up. Excuse the mess. Uh, how do I pop the hood? That one. So it may look alright from far, but no, it's actually pretty disgusting. I need a high pressure all this crap here. Look at this, look at this ground. Look at that. It's been like this for a little while now. It's embarrassing, it's not cool to have. I want a high pressure, but first, I want to put plastic bags over filters, electronic stuff, whatever could go wrong, and obviously I'm not going to be spraying on top of the, of the engine, but I'm going to be spraying stuff like the corners and whatnot. Anyway, we're going to give it a try, and let's hope for the best. I'm going to leave it parked here for a week or so, and then hopefully everything will be dry, and I can start the car and move it and enjoy it a little bit more. Yeah, I think we're good. I got most of the important stuff covered up. Let's get the high pressure hose and hope for the best. Right, here we go. Let's hope for the best. Okay, I think I finished destroying my RB26. It got a little bit more wet than what I wanted it to, but fuck it. If it doesn't work, I'll fix something and it's more content and I'll get more outside time with the car, whatever. I don't know, tell me what you think in the comments. Was this a bad idea? Was this a good idea? Should I just done this all by hand? I don't know, I saw forums, uh, GTR, UK club, uh, SAU club. Guys have been doing this, some people are complaining. There's issues after starting it up, after it's been wet. Some have been saying it's fine. I took my chances, I covered what I thought was most important. And also because I only had three plastic bags lying around. Right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back in a week's time, continue with this vlog, and let's see if the car starts or not. If it's running okay, I'll put a GoPro up and we'll take the car for a drive. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm hoping it's still going to be fine. Uh, in the interim, I'm going to fix the inside and put a new boost gauge in and get that all sorted out. So I'll see you guys in one week. And I'm back. It's not a week later, it's uh, like two hours later. I posted a picture of the car on Instagram and I said, was it a good idea or bad idea that I high pressure washed the car? And a bunch of you guys commented on it. And uh, someone said, please do not let the car sit for a week with pooled water because it'll be catastrophic to starting the car and possibly driving. So, I'm gonna start the car now. It's been about two hours and it's, it's dried up quite well from what I can see. It's still a little bit damp. Excuse this, one of the headlight um, doohickeys. I've got HIDs in there. One of them popped. I'm busy rewiring everything. It's also another re reason why I didn't drive it at night. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it's looking a lot cleaner and there's just a little bit of pooled water at the bottom. I'm nervous. I hope it starts. Let's try. I didn't get around to this because I started doing other crap with the FD. Whoops. I'll do this later.
Okay, fuel pump prompt. That's a good sign. <sighs> Apexies on. Let's go. Okay. Looks fun. Sounds fun. The apex is good, no errors. Boost control is working. Yeah. Pick up readings. I'm rewiring all that crap. Don't worry. It looks like poop right now because I'm just testing. I'm gonna sleeve it, solder it, solder it, sleeve it, whatever. There's the one HRD thing I've popped. I'm sorting that out too. Okay, sounds good. I guess we'll get it up to a decent running temp and then I'll rev it. See if it sounds okay. I'll still take you guys for a drive. We'll probably do that in a separate video, so sorry. I'm gonna close up here so we get a little bit more heat in the engine bay. Okay, I think we're good guys. I'm gonna take it for a drive uh, tomorrow. I don't have time right now. I gotta go back inside and deal with uh, grown-up stuff. So tomorrow, I'll take it for a drive, I'll slap the GoPro on, give it a wash first, take it for a drive, slap the GoPro on, and uh, hopefully we can get some boost videos and maybe something cool, maybe I'll find another car I can have a little encounter with on the road. Guys, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you all in the next video, cheers. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the f*** are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they block in your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power you're as long as you're trying